Hey, hey, and welcome back. Today I am popping by with a little video on a tool that I've recently um, discovered. It's a website tracking a tool with some additional bonus features that I absolutely love, and that's why I wanted to share this today. It is boiling hot in Albania right now. It's almost 40 degrees today. The aircon is running, the birds are inside and squeaking, and I am absolutely not camera ready today, so you're not going to be seeing my face, but I'm going to be showing you this amazing tool instead. All right, the first thing that I want to talk about is why on earth have a tool that tracks your website visitors. You might always say, oh, I have Google Analytics, isn't that good enough? The thing is, um, I have been working with clients um, for about four years with one of those page tracking tools installed. And there hasn't been a single time where I haven't opened Hotjar, which is the one that I always used to use with clients. There hasn't been a single time where I haven't opened Hotjar, watched recordings of website visitors interacting with the client's website discovering something that really was not being used in the way that it was intended to be used. So what these tools do is this. When a website visitor comes to your website, a session recording is started. So you can basically watch the visitor go to one of your pages, scroll down, pause and read, go down, press a button, open another page, so you know exactly what that specific website visitor has done. So you can see that they came to one of your blog posts and then they clicked on something in the sidebar and then they came to one of your sales pages and then they left, you know? So there's a lot of information that you're getting, plus you're getting those heat maps. Um, so it shows you where have people been clicking and where have people been scrolling to and all this good stuff. So this has huge potential for you to discover and fix issues on your website, for you to understand how people are really interacting with your website and for you to make improvements to individual pages to increase the likelihood that somebody might sign up for your thing that you have on that specific page. Okay, um, so that's the kind of the basic feature set. And in my very humble opinion, everyone needs this because even experienced website designers, they just work off of their experience and mostly what looks good. And that's nice. It's all in your brand colors. It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful font. And that's it. However, it's designed kind of in isolation. Um, so there isn't any interactions with users at the point of this being designed. Um, so once something is finished and you've put it out there, the best thing that you can do is to watch how your actual potential leads, potential customers are interacting with that page, with the entire website. Is it actually functional and is it fulfilling its purpose? And that is what these tools are for. And the reason, as I said, I used to always use Hotjar with clients, but it's very messy and it's very expensive, particularly if you're newer in business. Um, and I don't advocate for signing up for all the tools on the planet. You need to keep an eye on what you're spending money on. Um, so yeah, I like Lucky Orange because it has a few combinations of features um, that allow you to directly interact with your customers. So there are some pop-up surveys, live chats, and all that good stuff. So I absolutely love it for that because you can combine the data and the intel with actual communication with your customers for when they get stuck. So you also have the option to, for example, recover a sale if someone is on your sales page and they have a question that you haven't answered clearly. And then you can go and update the page thereafter with this question because if one person has that question, 50 people might have that question. So yeah, super important and that's why you should definitely consider having a software like this one. The second reason why I really like Lucky Orange is because in their free plan, which only has 100 sessions a month and 30 days of data storage, so you do have to monitor stuff pretty quickly, um, <clears throat> but in their free plan, you actually have access to all 
of those features whereas you know usually on with all of these tools on the free plan they would not give you the surveys they would not give you the live chat they would not give you the funnels they would not give you the form analytics so that you're forced to upgrade and what i like is that they're actually not doing it so you can wait until you're at a point where you really need more intel than those 100 sessions because you're getting way too much traffic and then you can upgrade to the next feature but they're already giving you the tools that you need to actually interact with your visitors and grow your business and that is what matters and that's what i like about it so that is why i'm talking a bit about lucky orange today giving you a bit of a sneak peek and um just showing you what the features kind of look like okay uh, i'm gonna go into the recording now where i take you around the tool and what it all looks like because before i sign up for stuff I always like to know what does it do, how does it work, is it easy to use and that's what I'm going to show you now. When you sign in, um, the first time obviously there's nothing here, I just set this up yesterday so that I could record this video today, um, but the first thing you're going to see is a dashboard, um, so you're going to get an overview over what's happening on your website. Um, it's kind of the usual, I haven't set up any conversion funnels um, yet, so that's why this is empty. Um, but otherwise you're going to get some information as to where people have come from and you can also set up multiple dashboards and you can add cards to this um, dashboard. So obviously the first time you log in there isn't going to be anything here so you need to go through the setup process and then I would encourage you to go to your settings and um, go through everything. So you want to set up your um, people if you have a v like an assistant or anything like that um, you might want to add them in. Um, and then you can go through the privacy settings. I obviously can't give you uh, legal advice on what you have to do according to where you live and all the data protection um, shizzle. So you got to figure that out yourself, what you have to do. They do have some interesting options. Um, I always do this. Um, when the recordings are done, when people are entering their details into a form, which is one of the features, you know, that forms are monitored and the data is scrambled so that you can't actually, um, you can't actually see what's going on. And then you can also require consent. Um, so you can ask people, hey, uh, for me to improve this website and make it better for you to use, is it okay if we record your session kind of thing? Um, and only then when people say yes, will it start recording. So it's up to you what you turn on and what not. Um, there's also integrations that you can set up. I have it sent data to Google Analytics at the moment and I've obviously got my WordPress connected. I don't really use any of the other ones, not really relevant to me. An important thing that you're gonna want to do is go to blocked visitors, add a block rule, and you're going to want to block your own IP address. Um, because otherwise it's going to keep recording your sessions and I have to also block the IP address of the places because I go out to work every single day. I have to remember tomorrow to start blocking the other IP addresses so that um, I don't end up recording myself constantly, which I have done a few times today. Um, I have turned this off right now for a second because I want to show you a few things. So if you block your IP address and then you go to test some of the other things, you won't actually be able to see them live on your website because it doesn't work for you because your IP address is blocked. Um, you're going to want to set up the chat settings if you actually go and use the chat feature. Um, and then there's a couple of other things that you can set up, your billing, your personal info and that kind of stuff. So I recommend that you go through these, you adjust them for you and then you set up the chat settings. Where do we start? Let's start with the visitors. So every single time somebody visits your website, they're going to be recorded over here and they're going to get some kind of code name. So I can see that this is me online in another tab right now because I want to show you something. And then I have yeah, and then I have some other people that were on the website earlier, and then I have the option to click into them to get more information. Um, and then I can also watch the recording of their session. So I can basically then say, okay, what did Purple Pair look at? Um, did they run into anything? Where did they jump off the page, etc.? So this is gonna give me some insight into that. Um, and I can do that for pretty much every visitor that's been on the website. Okay, then over here you have your analytics. So the first thing you can see is your heat maps. 
I was working on this page earlier, so this is probably a useless heat map to look at now. Let's see what it's got. Yeah, this is literally me opening stuff. As you can see, as soon as people are going to start interacting with your, with your page, the clicks, etc., are going to be recorded. So you have different event types. You can see the clicks, which is this one. You can see the moves. So that gets recorded and then you can record the um, scroll depth. So obviously um, you can see that since I was working on the page uh, 25%, so one in four times I got to the bottom of it because I was working on the FAQ section. So basically it will tell you um, how many people actually scrolled further down your page. And then you have the option to see all of this sorted by device as well. So obviously um, not everything like moves um, doesn't get recorded, I think, on mobile because we obviously don't hover the mouse on the screen, our fingers off the screen. So yeah, but that's basically your general thing. And then you can access the forms from here and you can access the recordings from here as well. And the cool feature is that you can actually download screenshots of everything that you need on this page. So if you want to discuss this at, I don't know, your upcoming marketing meeting, then you can take screenshots and you can discuss stuff with your clients or with your team or just keep it as a record for yourself. So that is pretty cool. You have the same here again. So you have the form analytics and then you have the most active elements. This is the stuff that's had the most interactions. Plus you can see all of the recordings that are to do with that specific element and then if you have funnels set up then um, you can view the performance of your funnels over here and then obviously you have your um, your event manager so this will interestingly tell you announcement conver converted means that they clicked on the announcement announcement viewed means it was shown so yeah so that's an interesting summary because then you can see the details of that one. Okay, so that's your standard analytics. The majority of website tracking tools will do something like this. However, the interesting part to me for this tool is when it comes to the interaction features that you have with visitors on your website and that I, I really like. So you have the option to set up surveys directly on your page. So if you want to say, hey, um, I'm working on a new freebie, would you rather have A, B or C? When you have a decent amount of website traffic, you can actually get intel from people who are already on your website, what they would like to see more of. Um, so that's very useful. Um, so let me show you what that looks like. I set up a survey to test this on the Notion templates page, which I have here. This is a page that I just put together a couple of days ago and I've just added a couple of things on here so far. But over time, there's going to be more templates on here. So I thought, hey, why not ask, do you have a Notion template that you need like yesterday, but you don't see it here? Tell me what it is, I'll make it and add it to the shop. So that's very useful. So if I was looking for a Notion template and I can't find it, I could ask for it right here on the page and send it off. Um, so that is what the survey can look like. Um, this is an open-ended question survey, but they obviously also have um, single select kind of surveys where you say, would you rather see a freebie about this, a freebie about that, or a freebie about that? So that is a super useful feature. Then you have announcements. So that's an interesting feature. I have this set up on the home page, the about page, and potentially on blog posts and podcast episodes. But basically, um, this one is just, you know, mentioning my new tech support membership. And then people have the option to click the button and look at it or to close it. So that is what the announcement looks like. And then we have the chat invite on certain sales pages. I actually have a little chat invite at the bottom here. I could make this better by writing it in a way that the person would think that I have just sent them a direct message when I haven't. But honestly, 
I am so tired of this shit. Like, I am so tired of pretending that I'm online when I'm not online or whatever, because it's obvious that once you click on it, it will say, hey, I'm currently offline. It is kind of annoying to think that I just thought the person sent me a message, so I clicked on it, and then I get a notification that they're offline. So I don't really want to be doing this shit. I find it annoying. So I just have a message there that says, hey, if you do... Um, I've already done this. Um, if you do have any questions, then, you know, drop me a message here or something like that, you know. To me, this is something very useful and um, I really like that. And then, of course, you can see the actual, um, the actual activity, but not much here yet. I just connected the whole thing yesterday. So that is Lucky Orange in a nutshell. Um, if you then go into the chat, you actually then have all of the messages here that have come in from the chat. You get email notifications. Um, so that's going to be super practical. Plus, I have to be honest with you, I have used other chat tools in the past and it has slowed down load times on pages so much that I had to uninstall the chat tool because everything just slowed down to a crawl and I've been using this like I said I've been working on the website all of today and a bit of yesterday so honestly um, it loads super fast and I really like that and you still have the chat anytime button and you can also have this be a bigger chat button I just don't really want it right there so yeah overall um, this to me is a pretty cool tool to be using I love the data I love how clean it is I love the additional features and um, yeah this to me at the moment at this moment in time looks like a top product yeah I would probably record an update after about two, three months, um, because I always like to give tools a decent amount of time to work, to gather data and for me to run into any kind of buggy issues with it. Um, but like I said, I've been checking on the data and the recordings with a client and they seem to be coming in quite solidly. So, um, so far I haven't found any issue with it, but I'm probably a more heavy user than he is. So in that sense, um, I feel like if there's an issue, I will probably find it over the next few weeks. But so far, I would definitely recommend. So let me know if you try it out and if you find out anything interesting about your website that you didn't know before, because I have not once used one of these tools and not discovered something interesting that I didn't think I was going to see. So if you find anything, drop me a comment and let me know because I find these quite hilarious sometimes. Um, yeah. Cool, that's it for me. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you again soon.